Welcome back to day six of our gratitude and affirmation challenge. Today, we're going to be discussing negativity. Now, you might be asking yourself, isn't this a gratitude and affirmation challenge? Why are we talking about negativity? That's a good question. So in order for us to be the best versions of ourselves, we need to raise our awareness and these things to our collective consciousness. So we are better able to address them. You've identified your core values and some limiting beliefs. Now it's time to raise your awareness as to where negativity might be creeping into your life. Negativity is all around us. We wake up, we have a bad hair day, or the kids don't want to get up, and you're scurrying around the house, and you have to sit in traffic, or you spill your coffee on yourself. Every day, we are assaulted by negativity. We report the aches and pains of our day rather than the small joys. We compare ourselves to our neighbors. We complain about our partners. We say things about our friends behind their back we would never say to their faces. We criticize, argue, and so on and so on. And no one wakes up thinking, how can I be mean or make others feel worse today? Most of us wake up intending to have a good day, but still, negativity often comes from within. According to Jay Shetty, we have three core emotional needs, peace, love, and understanding. Negativity in conversation, emotions, and actions often springs from a threat to one of these three needs a fear of bad things are going to happen. So this would be your fear of loss of peace, a fear of not being loved, which would be a fear of loss of love, or a fear of being disrespected. This would be loss of understanding. From these fears stem all sorts of other emotions, feelings overwhelmed, insecure, hurt, competitive, needy, and so on. These negative feelings spring out of us as complaints, comparisons, criticisms, and other negative behaviors. Bad things happen. We're all victims at some point, but if we adopt a victim mentality, we're more likely to take on a sense of entitlement and behave selflessly. Negativity is also contagious. Research has proven that most humans value social conformity so much that they'll change their own responses to align with the group, even when the group is blatantly wrong. This is called groupthink bias. We're wired to conform. Your brain would rather not deal with conflict or debate. It would much rather prefer to lounge in the comfort of like-mindedness. That's not such a bad thing if we're surrounded by positive people. But if we're surrounded by gossip, conflict, and negativity, we start to see the world in those terms. And the more negativity that surrounds us, the more negative we become. So this goes back to taking an audit. Be mindful of who you're surrounding yourself with and take note times when you might be a little bit negative. Take note, where is this coming from? Is it a fear of loss of my peace, loss of love, or loss of understanding? Tomorrow, we're going to dive deep into the types of negative people and some strategies to overcome negative thinking. And then we're going to dive into forgiveness. So keep coming back. Today's prompt is to think of a time that you are grateful for that you stood up for something or someone when they were being treated unfairly or there was some type of injustice happening. And you might have even had to go against the group and speak up. What was the outcome and how did it make you feel? Feel free to share. We want to see your comments. Also, your gratitude to differ today is to write three things you're grateful for in the past day and continue to write your affirmations. I'll see you tomorrow for day seven. Create an amazing day.